Tuesday, please don't go. Dad! It's going to be okay. It's okay. Can I come home with you? Hey, you sure can. How are you, buddy? Come and watch me, Dad. Okay. You can't take him. Tony's given me no choice. Please don't. Please just talk to her. Of course I will. When Harry's back with me. Dad! Yeah, I'm watching! Whoa! You told me to look after him. If I go home without him, I'll be in so much trouble. You can tell them it's my fault. But Tony wouldn't stay. And then it would just be me and Dad. He's not very well at the moment. It's the same problem, isn't it? Tell me. What's going on? Nothing. I still can't find him. Have you tried sugar? That's where I am for the second time. I'm just terrified that he's doing something stupid to himself. Like his stupid, mixed up father. Or he's just hiding somewhere dealing with it. I should never have let this happen. It's not your fault. The whole thing was a mistake. Getting involved with you? No. Okay, it's been the best. The greatest, and you know it. Hunter, it is not great now. I should help you find them. We should be doing this together. Hunter. Yeah, well, we need to find him, talk to him, make him understand us. I don't know if there is an us anymore. Don't say that. If your parents react half as badly as what Nate did, then it'll be hell. They won't even find out. Sophie promised not to tell. And you think Nate's going to keep his mouth shut? Well, then we talk to him, we talk to my parents, and, and they'll understand. Hunter, just grow up. No one is going to accept it. <sighs> is guy working? Not at the moment. What about in Australia? At first he was. But it didn't come to anything. Is that why you left? Sort of. Dad borrowed some money and then he couldn't pay it back. And the guys he borrowed it off started getting nasty. So you came to Christchurch. Why here? Tony got a job. She's been really great. Must be hard on you, though. All this moving. I'm used to it. What about school? In Australia we went. But here I'm just doing work at home. And Tony hasn't found a school for Harry yet. So I look after him quite a lot. It can't go on like this. It's not fair on you or Harry. We're all right. <laughs> You're on the run. No friends, no security, no proper home. At least I'm with Dad. He is not being a good father to you. He knows that. And he feels really bad about it. It's just... When are we going home? Soon. One more. Watch me, Dad. Yeah, you bet. I want you both to come with me now. I can't leave Dad. He needs me. What he needs is professional help, and you can't give that to him. He'll be angry. Hey, you let me deal with that. What about you? Do you want to come? Ah, uh, here he is, old swatty pants himself. You got me to test you? No, I'm good. Are you sure? There's a lot to get your head around. Yeah, all sussed. Right on top of it. Oh, judging by the lines on your brow, TK, I'm not entirely convinced. It's... Ah. Finally, Tess. Hey, I was thinking you'd disappeared. I'm sorry. Look, something's come up. I can't make it in. What's happened? Uh, Nate's taken off. He's upset. I really have to find him. Oh, that's not good. Need any help? No, no, I'll manage. Okay, call me if you do. Thanks, Callum. Bye-bye. Nate's gone missing. What's the problem? Didn't say, but it must be big. She's pretty upset. Hunter might know where he is. Oh, I don't think they're that tight anymore. They used to be maids, but things are cooled off. Kids that age, huh? They go through phases. Yeah, that or Hunter's got his nose out of joint about Nate and Sophie. Now they're an item. <laughs> In fact, that might be why he's taken off. Lover's tiff. He's a moody little beggar. Aubergine. Here's a colour for the brave. I like strong tonal statements. Are you redecorating? Uh, yes, bit of spruce up, you know. Be bold then. Go directional with accessories. What? Accents. You know, colour accents. 
Oh, yeah, no, I don't know about any, any of that stuff. <laughs> really? Well, you're in luck. I've done a course and I'm happy to help. Actually, this is kind of Libby's project. Well, there's your first problem right there. See, women have flair, but they like clutter. Men just have different needs altogether. See? Now, what kind of budget are we talking? Uh, look, thank you, but um, I'm pretty sure I'll be sweet. <laughs> well, not a few dress sense is anything to go by. Hand it over. I'm looking for my son, Nate Adamson. Have you seen him? No. Thanks. Tell him told me about Nate. Any joy? No. And I'm running out of places to look. I'd say ask Sophie, but they seem to have had a row. They have no idea what it does to us when they go AWOL. He's probably kicking back at home right now. No idea what you're going through. I have rung him a million times. It's driving me nuts. I'll try and get some sense out of Sophie if that'd help. Thanks. That'd be great. Are you time for a coffee? Not now. Is she okay? A bit tense. Teenager problems. Right. I got it that her boy's a bit of a handful. Must be tough on her own. Double the responsibility. Can't say I envy her. Doesn't leave much time for anything else. I know you're right about Dad. And I hate seeing him like he is. So do I. And I know I can't help him. So I should come. Are we going now? Right now. I've got tickets for me and Harry, but we can easily get you one at the airport. What about stuff? We shouldn't go back to the house. It's too risky. Looks like I'm getting a new wardrobe then. Hey, you see? Every cloud has a silver line. <laughs> Come on, buddy. We've got a plane to catch. Is Mum coming? Tuesday's coming, but Mum has to work. Well, she's coming tomorrow. I'll talk to her, but i got your room all ready and we're going to have a great time. What about Spanner? Who? Harry's puppy. Please say it's a toy. No, he's real. I got him last week. He's still pretty little and we haven't got a lead so we couldn't bring him to the park. Spanner can stay with Mum and he'll visit us when she does. No, he's mine. I want him to come. Dogs can't go on aeroplanes. I'm not going without him. Harry, come back here. Is there anyone at home? I don't think so. No, no, Tony's no. at work and Dad went out. Well, I can't lose this chance. No. And I can't drag him through two airports screaming no, his head off. No, 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 Looks like Spanner's coming too. No. Ever seen Mr Andrews? So you've been short of breath? Yeah. Uh, I had a logging accident at work. I uh, broke a couple of ribs in the hip. Were you admitted to this hospital? No, I was at uh, Central for a couple of months. Uh, First an intensive care, then a recovery ward. And when were you discharged? Uh, last week. Were you aware of any shortness of breath at the time? No, I was, uh, I was right as rain the first day. Kicked in the next day and it's got worse. I can't even climb stairs anymore. Okay. Well, first thing I need to do is have a listen. Find out what's going on in there. <clears throat> He's coming, okay? Just calm down. How do we get him on the plane? Let me deal with that. I'll stay here with Harry. You go get the dog. What if someone's home? I can't say I left Harry at the park. Okay, take him. But it's got to be fast, in and out. If anyone's there, just say you're taking Spanner for a walk. We haven't got a lead. Do you have a collar? Yep. Just attach something to that, a bag strap or something. Okay. Harry, this is a secret, okay? that we're going on a plane, we're not telling anyone. Okay. That's right. Shh. This is crucial Tuesday. If he starts talking about me, it's all over. But he talks about you all the time. You're his imaginary playmate. Really? Every day. Dad, dad, dad. Well, best case scenario is no one's there. Let's hope for that. Right, you go get Spanner, quick as you can. Come on, Harry, run. Well, there's definitely inflammation of the airways. It sounds as if you've developed asthma. Asthma? <clears throat> no, mate, I've never had asthma. Well, all sorts of things can set it off, mate. Infection, dust, fumes, uh, even an allergy. 
Do you smoke? Oh, I used to. Okay, about 15 years ago. Right. Uh, you said you worked in logging. It could be a response to sawdust inhalation. I never had it when I was working at the mill. Okay, listen, mate, I'm going to put you on a course of oral steroids and an inhaler. I've got those small airways. Now, if things don't improve over the next week, come back and see me again. I'll tell you right now, it's not asthma. Oh, Libby's really giving you a workout. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be so bad if it was only Libby. Now Gerald's putting his oar in. What's he got to do with that? Yeah, good question. He saw me looking through all my stuff and then he, he barged his way in and now he thinks he's in charge. Libby's not gonna like that. Yeah, well, Libby's not the only one. I mean, that dude is the last person I want choosing my cushions, you know? Why's that? Well, because he's... Bossy? Bad with colour? He's gay, okay? I mean, not that there's anything wrong with that, but... What's the matter? Scared he's gonna come on to you over the swatches? Hey, sure, it's not fun. Oh, come on, Joey. This could be the big romance you've been waiting for. He's young and single. You're young and single. Not in this lifetime. Oh, one thing I've learned is never say never. Okay, so, seeing it's House of Men, I'm thinking you're warm, but strong, you know? Something along those lines. And Joey's okay with this? Yeah, absolutely. He just said, go for it. Okay, cool. Hmm. Yeah, that's the fair. Well, hey, buddy. Just in time. Gerald's practically got the undercoat on. You really need to relax, dude. <laughs> this is our spectrum. Warm but strong. I don't know. I mean, do we really need to paint? Well, it's it's the most cost-effective way of getting a new look. And for your budget... Oh, uh, around about $300? We definitely can't go over 300 so... Yeah, it's a challenge. But, you know, I think we can do it. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Quick, Jerry, shake on it. Ooh, firm. <laughs> I like that. It's good. I've been thinking about you all day. Now I get you home, you're all miserable. I don't want to talk about it. Mother's least favourite words. Out with it. Nate's disappeared. Yes, Tess told me. So why'd you ask? Because I'm concerned about you. Did you two have a fight or something? Not a fight, exactly. But something's upset Nate, obviously. Yeah. He found out about something. Something he can't handle. Can you tell me? He thinks he's gay. Gay? And how did he find out about that? It's not usually the sort of thing that comes as a complete surprise. He went to a gay club last night. He kissed a guy. Oh, I'm sorry, Soph. I don't know how you feel about him. It's a pity he doesn't feel the same way about me. Yeah. Drama isn't reserved for Shortland Street. The Eurovision Song Contest has had its fair share of controversy over the years and a special Sconal episode reveals all at half past seven on Monday evening in Eurosconal. <laughs>